Professor Wallen Shoinka has appealed to uh, Benin Republic government for the release of Sunday Igbowo. Uh, the Nobel Prize winner, Professor Wallen Shoinka, uh, yesterday declared that the international community was duly obliged to wade into the security situation in the country, saying the federal government has failed to fulfill its obligation under the United Nations Charter to which Nigeria is a signatory. According to him, he was calling for the intervention of the international community at this stage because he does not want what was going on now to become the new norm or normal thing in Nigeria. Olesho Inka also urged the government of the Republic to immediately release Yoruba Nation agitator Mr. Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbowo, insisting that he has not committed any crime. Addressing journalists at Freedom Park, Lagos, uh, Professor Wale Shoinka said, somebody calling for a separate state or a separate nation does not deserve to be called a criminal as long as it was done peacefully and within the law. You don't criminalize such action. I am appealing to the government of Republic of Benin. Why are you keeping this victim in prison? What crime did he commit against your state? He should be released and let him go about his business that was uh, interrupted unjustly. Walisho Inka said, yes. Why would they be keeping Sunday Bowl? That's the question so many people have been asking the Benin Republic, you know, government. Because that's part of uh, violating the international uh, fundamental rights law. You know, under the international law, you don't, you know, apprehend somebody, keep that person in prison. Except if they want to still tell us that. Sunday Igbo is not in prison or is in just is just in a captive or uh is just being kept in a lonely place. Uh, that's what we should, you know, be perceiving or that's what we are perceiving. Because as it is, imprison somebody that has not done anything, has not, you know, does not have any criminal record in your country, has done nothing to your government. Why still hold that person in prison? Well, according to Professor Wallace Inka, Igbo has not committed any crime in this nation and to ask for his uh, repatriation is adding salt to injury. They, want, uh, they went to the man's house, destroyed his property, chased him to wilderness. The security services committed criminal acts against him by raiding his home at around 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., killing two of his people and claiming they found weapon in his home. Who would believe that cock and bull story? Uh, queried. Uh, reacting to the query issued to channels TV by the National Broadcasting Commission, Shoinka asked, Who decides professionalism? Is it NBC or Mass Communication Fora? It is channels TV. It can be anyone. This is the first time I am seeing a kind of query the media is getting. This is one of the most semi illiterate queries that I have ever seen. Next time, those letters should be thrown into garbage bin. This should be stopped as soon as possible. We have a responsibility to tell the government that next time any media institution is sanctioned on this trivial or ludicrous ground, we will fulfill our responsibility by mobilizing the nation to boycott all government media and we shall wage this media war against the government. Well, Walisho Inka is coming out to say this, let's say this madam verse, but where is he, and where has he been all this while, you know, to show his prowess. Yeah, but notwithstanding, maybe this is the right time for all the old leaders and elites and the, you know, professors, you know, and the uh, so-called uh, uh, PhD holders, let me put it that way, those uh, literate and those, you know, uh, professionals to come outside and, you know, wage war against this government. Is it because it has not affected them directly? But indirectly, it's affecting everybody. Well, it, according to uh, what it has been said, the decree number, decree number four has no place in a democracy, and it is about time we emphasize that both in language and in act should be considered. He said, the Nobel laureate criticized last Saturday's carnival like wedding of President Buhari's son. Yeah, he says uh, the Yusuf wedding in Kano, saying it was wrong to have organized the wedding in that manner when some school children were in the kidnappers then. Hmm. So many Nigerians have been saying all this and all that, that President Muhammad Buhari does not really care. Uh, he, they are not saying he, he should not, you know, uh, give 
uh, his son or daughter or anybody uh, and in marriage but he should be on a low key because as a father your uh, you have three children one of the children is missing and you still throw party to you know the other two that means you are irresponsible well in his words there was a carnival of a wedding in Kano, according to uh wale shuinka is emphasizing on this uh, the wedding in Kano, the president's child was getting married but some school children are kidnapped this is not what i understand of leadership i am not saying president's children should not get married i had made the mistake of thinking it would have been sufficient given these children money and say go to dubai and have a good time there you should set an example the president seems not to hear things virtually the nation is screaming we do not want open cattle grazing then comes a new version of ruga with the president sending his agents out to go and map out grazing route so why is the president obsessed about something that is being rejected the obsession to the extent that people who are rational begin to wonder if it is all about cattle or there is an agenda we don't know about conspiracy theories abound when the leadership is pursuing interest against the people well how do we describe the targeting of children there is a charter for the protection of children when these articles are violated and all we do is to celebrate weddings it means such a nation has failed to live up to its responsibility under united nation laws we have been saying ask for international help this thing is beyond you it is not a question of begging it has become an international responsibility the international community is duly obliged to take action since there is failure on the part of governance to fulfill its obligation under united nations chapter to which nigeria is a signatory he added that in nigeria a very successful slave trade was going on with the market springing up noting that the targets are children and school puppies and the targets are sunday igbo and namdekanu the target are the south southerners the targets are the christians the targets are the ones in the northern but the timid ones that do not believe in their theory very soon nigeria will be quoting slaves on the stock market i can't see any difference between slavery and what is happening to school populace today especially in the northern region so we are calling on the united nations to intervene and stop the slave trade i'm speaking as a layman I think the protocols of the United Nations enables it to declare a section of this country protectorate. If the government has failed to protect its own people, the United Nations has a right and responsibility to declare those zones United Nations protectorate. We do not want what is going on now to become the new normal in Nigeria. We want uh, intervention at this stage uh, by the United Nations. And let all these many stop. Let all this madness stop. Let you know uh, the government stop. You know seeking for arrest for agitators. Let you know the insecurity stop. Uh, this is coming from Professor Wale Shoyinka. Well, thanks for listening. You can share your comments in the comment section.